What's up everybody, Otto here. So next we're gonna be working on a login. So we don't have a login page or a login screen and it's gonna be very similar to the sign up. So what we can do is copy the entire sign up section and let's put it right under this function sign up function and what we're going to do is call this login section and with the login section we're going to go ahead and do a few things it's going to be almost exactly the same except we're not going to use this function sign up so let's go ahead and kill that real quick and we're going to want to give this an id so static const string id equals login section close it up all right and then we're going to want to put this in routes so go scroll up and we have our routes here put a comma here and then we can just copy this like this then add the route we want which is going to be login login section id and login section so next up we need to build a link so a link for login and that will take us to the login section and we're going to put that link right here in sign up section so we find our button right here and we're going to put it right we're going to put that link right under this button so let's go ahead and type flat button get this child which is going to be a text like so and this will be a login and we need to close that right here What's going on? Why we got an error? Oh, here. We got to add a comma here. There it is. All right, save. Now let's check out that button. There it is. There's our login. It doesn't do anything yet. We got to add a navigator to it. So in the on press right here, we need to take this navigator push name and we're not going to the landing screen we are going to the login section okay and go ahead and test that out login All right same same thing so in our login section we want to change a few things so we're not going to be using the sign up function to sign up so and we need to change this. This is not sign up. This is login. All right. See that says login. So the user knows we're logged in. And so we need to create another function. So you see the sign up function. We're pretty much creating the same thing, except go, we're going to hit a different route. And that route hasn't been created yet, but we're going to set this up first. So we're going to call this login. It's going to take an email and a password and we're going to name that route login. We haven't created it yet, but we will. It's going to take the same thing. Yeah. And it's going to give us back a token. Cool. So now we can uh, take this function. You can add it here. So change this to function to login. Okay. We're set. Next, we need to create the API route in Node.js. So let's open up our folder, our server.js. Okay, and time to create a new route. So here's our sign up API route. It's gonna be very similar to that. So let's go ahead and just copy the entire route. And right under that route, we'll call this the login route API, okay? and change this to login 
it is going to take an email and a password. We'll console log the email to make sure it went through. Now we're not going to be saving any data, so we don't need to we don't need to use this here. And we don't need to save anything. We'll we will be sending a token back. So we need to find something. We need to find, we need to search MongoDB for the user that you created. Let's go ahead and use let user equals user dot find one and email. And if that user is there, we'll go user, uh, we'll log it, log user, and we'll leave it just like that. And we'll go ahead and go over to our Flutter app, and we'll go ahead and create a new login. And I just noticed, guys, we don't have a back button to get back to the next screen, to the main screen the sign up screen. So let's add that now. So if we go over to here, we are going to add a uh, scaffold here. So I want to go ahead and wrap with a widget. And I'm, this widget name is scaffold. And it's giving me an error because we need to change this to body. And then under scaffold, we are going to add app bar app bar and what that does if you open up the app you see now we have a back button now we can go back to the main screen okay so let's go ahead and create an email now bob at gmail.com password random string sign up okay and now we have a registered person but for now let's go ahead and restart the application we have that user which is bob go to login bob um, at gmail.com password it doesn't matter we're not we're not checking the password yet and we got an error error actually comes from not having not reset the server so we need to go over to the server the terminal so stop the server and then restart the server because it won't restart our changes so now we need to repeat what we just did start that application log in go ahead and type in bob at gmail.com password or log in okay and we have now we check out our terminal and see what it gave us so this is a like a promise and this is not what we want and the reason why we got that is because we didn't add a wait to the find method so it needs time to get to find that email so we need to add a wait here and it's already asynchronous so that's already set so again stop the server restart the server uh, restart the app again log in gmail.com password log in and there you have it we see our password and our email which is coming from the database that means the user is saved in that database next we need some logic to check if the password is correct so if user dot password is not equal to password in that case, we want to return response.json message password is not correct and else return the token. Next, we need some logic to check if the password is correct. So if user dot password is not equal to password in that case we want to return response dot json message
password is not correct and else return the token so the next thing we need to do is automatically log in if we have a token so if we have the token and we exit the app and we start the app again we can be able to log in so in our sign up section which is our home what we're going to do is check token we're going to create a function called check token and in the function we're going to have shared preferences here so down here we pretty much have already done this on the sign up so we're going to grab that enter here and make this an async function and initialize the function to start it and so what's going to happen here is the token's going to get the it's going to get the token that's saved if there's a saved token if it's not null go to the landing page and if we check our app we're in the landing screen so it's easy to test and we can just test it like this if we click the restart it automatically goes right back that's it guys we're a little over 10 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here if you got something out of this video go ahead and smash that like button and i'll see you in the next video